This is start. I'm gonna take a quick video. Yep. Yep. Okay. So this valve number ten here uh -huh. is what regulates the pressure in here. Okay. How can you tell that? Um, because it's tied directly to that line. And it goes to where? From that line to where? To the reservoir. Exactly. Okay. okay. Cool. So then this is a regulator here, and it regulates the pneumatic. Or, uh, it takes high pressure to low pressure. Takes high pressure to low pressure on the hydraulic line here, yeah. and this. Here's the line. That's off your pipeline. That's off yeah. the pipeline. And that controls there's a low pressure it fails here and high pressure it fails here. Exactly. And right. optimally it's right here. That's a goalie locks valve. Right. So this one pressure too low, it trips, pressure too high, it trips, it's happy in the middle. And then this one here is normally energized, so it passes the hydraulic fluid, the lower pressure hydraulic fluid through here. This is a hand actuated valve here. Yep. And uh, this one gets actuated by the pressure. Yep. Okay, the thing that my question is, when this fails, low pressure or high pressure, whichever, it dumps everything in here. Exactly. How do we then change the pressure of this ah, to question. get that? Very good question. So you're, you're right at the cusp of an answer. You said if any of these go to their fail states, whether you switch that uh, off or you lose power or you get too high or low pressure on the line, right. we dump pressure going to that little uh, uh, actuator in 23. What does that do to that valve block in there? Which way does it shift? It opens it. Opens it, which then connects what used to be a pressurized line. Oh, and this regulates the pressure, uh -huh. so what happens is this pressure wants to stay the same, dropping this pressure. It drains it all. That's okay. All it does. And all the pressure drains down to nothing. And when that happens, that shuts. It shuts. Okay. That's it. So this pipeline or opens, valve. Right? Well, it's a pipeline valve it's supposed to shut off in an emergency. Okay. So, and actually, notice how they've drawn it here. They show it all darkened in. Mm -hmm. That's a convention you'll see occasionally in diagrams. A fully darkened valve means a normally shut or normally closed valve. So, okay. So in that case, it's a pipeline safety valve. Its spring is pushing it in the shut direction. That's another case where you can't go by the direction that the line goes in. It may actually be going underneath and lifting it up. Or maybe that's, that's a reverse acting on. body. Right. It could be a reverse acting body where pushing it down opens it. But whatever the case is, the spring shuts it. And it will be shut when you lose all hydraulic pressure in that system, which is what so, it's on to do. Here's another thing. Oh, the only way to get this thing going back again then is to pump this hand back up, uh -huh. get pressure in your line, jump this yep. up to the optimal pressure, and reactivate everything, get the, pre the thing operating normally. So some operators got to run out there in a pickup truck and go out to the valve and start pumping. Okay. And the only way they can build pressure is if everything's in optimal condition here. Right pressure here, power to the solenoid, automatic mode, all that stuff. That's got to be uh, in the right position. Cool. Yeah. Make more sense? So this number 12 right here? Yeah. Is, uh, it's being held down by uh, low pressure? Yeah. It's being held down by pressure. So that little dash line you see on the side of number 12, uh, that's pushing that arrow sideways. And so when there is no pressure, the arrow lines up and you know, when As pressure builds up, the valve starts to shut off. So it's reg regulating pressure down the street by shutting off additional oil if the pressure gets too high. Like I was right at the top. Now that other valve, number 10, and then I could just down from there, that's a little different style right there. That begins to open up as it senses more upstream pressure. So that prevents you from generating too much of the mm -hmm. But regulator number 12 only passes the right amount of oil to get the pressure of what's downstream. Not really, so if you get too they're much both pressure, pressure regulators, but they're a little bit different. It's kind of working opposite. Exactly, yeah. One's an upstream regulator, or what they call back pressure no, regulator, and one's downstream. Mm -hmm. And that's both their functions. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, it's an all hydraulic system. I guess if you don't count the electricity going to the cylinder, it's all hydraulic. It's all mechanical system, and that'll shut that pipeline off in the event of uh, overpressure or underpressure or loss of solenoid power. Right.